the fear, the risk taking and the fear of the consequences is something that I think genetically or the way I was brought up, I don't know. I just don't have um, super strong within me. So I can rationally, because that's what a lot of this is based on, right? It's like if you see like a kid being flung around or they're standing on a swing and it looks scary, even if it's not. And that's what a lot of parents react to is this thing that looks scary mm-hmm. and not mm-hmm. like, oh, like we do things that are a hundred times more dangerous. They're not looking at the data. They're not looking at right. actual numbers. It's just a feeling. And it's just like, yeah, I feel like this is okay. I feel like this will be fine. And that tends to be my MO, which is I think why I'm a little bit more loose with that kind of stuff. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Does that make sense? It does. It does. I'm trying to think if the two situations are the texting and driving and then the way that you act with Elise are parallel. Because on the one hand, I do think it is dangerous to momentarily lapse looking at the road. You know, I think it's clearly dangerous. We both agree uh, while you're looking at your phone or something. I, I definitely see, you know, why a, a higher risk approach is a philosophy. You don't have to take it, but that's, there's nothing crazy about about what you said about the the six foot ladder uh, thing, I'd say past a certain age, you wouldn't do it with a one year old. But um, right. so yeah, I'm I'm not sure right now um, what I think about that. But I I also have a higher risk tolerance with Everett, where like for instance. I, he likes to play a game where I like throw him onto the couch. I mean, it's very simple, but I'd go one, two, three, and then I throw him onto the couch and uh, I will throw him pretty high. Now, why do I do that? Because it's more fun. And he often goes big, big, because the the concept of big is his favorite thing in the world right now. Uh, And I'm like, okay, he wants big. And it just makes me happy to see how much joy he has from being flung up in the air. Now, Sasha will often say, do not throw him that high in the air. He could twist his neck, you know? <laughs> and I can't tell if I agree or not. I'm often like, okay, you know, what am I going to say? No, like, you know, but, but I can't tell how I really feel about it. Uh, I, I think, well, as I'm thinking about it now, I believe that I do think it's worth the teeny amount of risk because I believe that I'm pretty careful about the way I trust my uh, agility or whatever it is you know, that it's at a high enough level that I'm not going to throw him like upside down. Now, could I have a momentary lapse? Sure. But I am very careful. I think when I'm doing it, I'm like, do not throw him the wrong way. So right. I'm just like, okay, I'll take that risk. Yeah. I mean, I do the same thing. <laughs> right. So do we disagree with our own behavior? Oh man, it's tough. I, I know you I know you and I are very similar in that we both don't we bristle at other people telling us that we're doing something wrong, especially like in a moment like that, I think if I'm not overstepping into your psyche, but I think we have like an authority like yeah, because I think we do think things out very well and we do have a high level of confidence in the in our ability to do things. And so it feels like an attack of our personal judgment that we've decided to do this thing. So in the moment, I definitely get, that's my first reaction. If anyone ever tells me something, it's that's my first reaction is like, you don't think I have a good grip on the ankle? Like, you don't, you think I would do this if I thought there was any chance of it going wrong? Mm-hmm. And after the fact, I definitely recognize the arrogance of that statement. I've injured myself more times than I can count. I've done dumb shit. I'm uncoordinated from this moment to that. And it's certainly like, I can easily see having to eat humble pie doing something, you know, that I consider safe and then really injuring her and, and feeling horrible about it, obviously. But then having that, I told you so, hanging over your shoulder. Hmm. The one saving grace I have with it is that I feel like that argument can be made with anything. I used to play a game with um, Alana, sister, when I was a kid. Uh, where she would have to say something and I would say how it could kill you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. And whenever she would say something that like I couldn't think of, like she would be like, you know, my big toe, I'd be like, well, you could choke on it. <laughs> like this, whatever thing, well, you could choke on it. Mm-hmm. And I think 
you could, I mean, certainly there are things like, yeah, climbing a 20 foot ladder over concrete when you're three years old. There, there's, it's a spectrum, right? I don't know that there's going to be a clear line of this is okay and this is not. There are always going to be things. Like we let her climb up to wash her hands in the sink. And she sometimes is like a little teetering there. And like Steph is okay with it, but she could fall over backwards and hit her head or twist something around. Like coming down the stairs, she could fall. Yeah, yeah. And then what are you going to question every, you know, well, I yeah. should have moved into a, a one-story house then, and this was so foolish. I can't believe we thought that this was safe. Mm. So I struggle a lot with finding what criteria we're really going off of. You know, it's not like we're looking at hard data. It's not like we're looking at here's, you know, hours per injury at this activity versus this one, and we're okay with this one, so we've got to be okay with this one because there's fewer injuries, you know, per hour or whatever. So I feel like it ends up being, for myself even too, a lot more of an emotional decision than, than a rational one. And it is then based on like what we're talking about. Like, I think if I throw him high enough, this high, and I'm controlling sort of the trajectory of his body and he's standing, he's like, then it's going to be okay. And you just something that is.